Okay, today I'm back on the acrylics, the fluid acrylics. I woke up at 4 a.m. yesterday. Uh, I wrote a lot of different sort of methods and different things what I could do. Um, and I did go out in the garage to do some resin pours. Um, it was cold in the garage, so I decided to do a a bath for the uh, the resin to warm it up a little and I must have warmed it up a little too much and it just all the time setting up and mixing and doing this and that and then I came out with nothing basically so back to the fluid acrylics today so I've got the bottom of a drinks bottle which is still a little bit wet unfortunately I'll wipe that off uh, yeah, you can see where it is, can't you? So, I'm going to pour on that. You know, you've seen me do this swirly gig before. I was going to do that, but I thought, let's try something a little bit different. Uh, I did see this in one of the groups, so I'm not claiming it as mine. So, right, let's have a, a bit of a pour. See how we get on. I've never tried this before yet, so... It could work or it, it will work. Bound to work. I hope. <laughs> That's coming out pretty cool, isn't it? Had a bit of a lump in my paint then, which is very unusual for me. It usually makes thoroughly. It happens to all of us. So now I'm putting some golden air now. Which looks like silver because it is silver. That's some red. And now the gold. Just do it that way. I've got a bit of black. I'm not using too much of the black. It's very thin, is that black as well? Now I've got some bronze. In fact, I think I will put a bit more black on. I'll probably regret this. some bronze or is it copper? It's copper. Just get my colours mixed up today for some reason. I'll go back to white. And some of the blue. The yellow. And the silver. I'll go back to adding the red. The gold. The 
black. And finally the copper. I could have left it like that but I do have these drips here what I left behind so I'll just put on the time lapse and see how much it shifts right I don't know if it moved too much there um, I'm going to have to do something with it because that paint's going to be very thick. I'm going to regret this. But I'm going to move it. Quite like that. You can now see the yellow blob what I did. I hate when this happens. Right, I've got it. See if we can tidy that up a little. Just leave it as it is, I think. And I'm going to torch it, I think. Yeah, well, need to get some of the bubbles out anyway. Yeah, the bubbles are actually cells, really small ones. Yeah, I like that. I'll take it for a close up.